The story of a human life begins with a microscopic encounter, a single sperm meeting an egg. This incredible journey starts with fertilization, the magical moment when a sperm successfully penetrates an egg. This union creates a single cell, a zygote, carrying within it the blueprint for a brand new human being. This newly formed zygote isn't just sitting around, it's bursting with life and raring to grow. It travels down the fallopian tube, dividing rapidly as it goes. This cluster of multiplying cells is now called a blastocyst. Imagine a tiny ball of cells, smaller than a grain of sand, holding the potential for a whole new person. Around day five or six, this little traveler, the blastocyst, snuggles into the lining of the uterus. This is called implantation. It's like finding the perfect cozy spot to settle in and grow. And grow it will over the next nine months, transforming from a tiny cluster of cells into a fully formed baby. This process from the meeting of sperm and egg to the cozy nesting of the blastocyst is the very beginning, the spark that ignites the miracle of life. The first trimester is a period of incredible transformation. The tiny cluster of cells, now firmly implanted, starts taking shape. This is where the real construction begins. The cells differentiate, meaning they become different types of cells with specific jobs. Some will form the brain and nervous system, others the heart and circulatory system and so on. By week four, the embryo is about the size of a poppy seed. It has already developed a primitive heart tube that starts to beat. Can you imagine something so small already having a heartbeat? This tiny heart, a testament to the power of life, is already circulating blood through the developing body. As the weeks progress, the embryo develops into a fetus. Tiny buds that will become arms and legs emerge. The brain develops rapidly, forming the structures that will control movement, thought and sensation. By week 12, the fetus is about the size of a plum and has recognizable human features. The first trimester is crucial. It's a period of rapid development where the foundation for all major organs and systems is laid. It's a time when the growing baby is most vulnerable to environmental factors, making it essential for the mother to maintain a healthy lifestyle. The second trimester is often called the golden period of pregnancy. The initial fatigue and morning sickness usually subside, and the mother starts feeling more energetic. The baby continues to grow at a rapid pace and the mother begins to feel those magical first movements, the gentle flutters that signal a growing life within. By week 16, the baby is about the size of an avocado. It can blink its eyes, suck its thumb, and even has tiny tooth buds forming beneath the gums. The senses are developing and the baby can hear the mother's heartbeat and the muffled sounds of the outside world. The mother's body is also undergoing significant changes. The uterus expands to accommodate the growing baby and the breasts prepare for milk production. The mother might experience a surge of emotions, a mix of excitement, anxiety and overwhelming love for the little life growing inside her. The second trimester is a time for bonding, for the mother to connect with her baby through those first movements, to talk to her baby and to share her world through touch and sound. The third trimester is the home stretch, the final countdown to meeting the newest member of the family. The baby continues to grow, gaining weight and maturing its organs in preparation for life outside the womb. The movements, once gentle flutters, become stronger, more deliberate kicks and punches. By week 28, the baby is considered viable, meaning it has a good chance of survival if born prematurely. The lungs are still developing, but the baby is practicing breathing movements, inhaling and exhaling amniotic fluid. The mother might experience some discomfort as the baby grows larger and pushes against her organs. She might have backaches, shortness of breath, and frequent urination. But amidst these discomforts, there's an overwhelming sense of anticipation a longing to hold her baby in her arms. The third trimester is a time for final preparations, for attending childbirth classes, choosing a paediatrician and getting the nursery ready. It's a time for the mother to rest, to nourish her body and to mentally prepare for the marathon that is childbirth. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share this video, subscribe for more content and let us know in the comments what techniques have worked for you. See you in the next one.